Our beers are like a map. They're like a compass. And they all point back to this place we live. We get almost all our ideas from the tension between land and sea and we really feel we're capturing a time and a place in our beer. Because of Gab's family connection to diving and diving for abalone, we'd always kind of been interested in making ocean beers. We came up with this beer, a kind of salty, briny, marine beer with sea urchin in it. We go for the sea urchins on the morning of the brew, came in, shucked them all, and we put everything pretty much apart from the spines. It just tasted so fresh and subtle and really expressed that idea of place. A big part of what we do is about collaboration, whether it's collaboration with local growers, family members, divers. If we don't connect with the people, you're not really connecting with the place. And our work with Uncle Noel is a collaboration in a really deep way. We first met Noel Butler as an indigenous UN elder when we were making the sea urchin beer and he was picking, foraging the lemon myrtle. And you know, we've always known that the beer is an expression of time and place, but that relationship really opened up so many more layers of history, land, people, and we want to be part of telling those stories. He's the gateway who is allowing us to peel back these layers. We're constantly telling stories, and they're not our stories. They're other people's stories. We are driven to evolve, and we feel we can't move forward without acknowledging the past and understanding the past. There's this seamless connection between land, river, ocean, mountains, and it all kind of comes to a head where we live. We're selling these niche specialty beers around Australia, um, now internationally. But when people drink our beer, we want to be telling them about Gippsland. We're telling these stories so widely, but the beers all talk about this place. We're Chris and Gab from Sailor's Grave Brewing in Orbost, Gippsland.